Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is where angels are and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Mark chapter 1 verses 12 and 13. The spirit then compelled Jesus to go into the wilderness where he was tempted by Satan for 40 days. He was out among the wild animals and angels took care of him. Last night, before I fell asleep, I decided to read a bit of the New Testament. I started from the book of Mark, and as I read our anchor scripture, the word ministered to me afresh. I thought to share some of my contemplations. The Bible says that Jesus, after his baptism, was led off the Spirit into the wilderness. I love the way the New Living Translation of the Bible puts it. It says, the Spirit compelled Jesus to go into the wilderness. Compelled. There was no doubt about what the Spirit of God wanted Jesus to do. It was clear. He was not not sure. He knew that the Spirit of God was leading him and he was compelled to obey. I remember stopping my reading and praying, Holy Spirit, please help me to be so in tune with you that I hear you clearly. Give me the grace to be sold out to obeying you so much so that your instructions will compel me to obey. This is not where I am going, however. The Bible says the Holy Spirit led Jesus into the wilderness. There he was tempted by Satan and he was among the wild animals and angels took care of him. Jesus encountered a lion, maybe a bear, maybe wild animals that could kill humans in a minute. But Jesus came out of that wilderness. Why? Because angels took care of him. Why did angels take care of him? And this is where I make my point. When the spirit of God leads you to a place, it means God has already gone ahead of you and mobilized all resources that you need in that place. The spirit of God compelled Jesus to go into the wilderness, but God had already gone ahead of Jesus and sent angels to ensure the place was safe for him. The wild animals could not kill Jesus because immediately the word came asking him to go into that wilderness. Angels were dispatched to keep Jesus safe. Today's message isn't really about Jesus. It is about you. Who led you to where you are at? The angels that will preserve you from the wild animals are only dispatched to the place where the Spirit of God has led you to. Remember our series on service. God is only committed to paying for that which he has ordered. There is a place, of course, for God's mercy, even when you step out of the perfect will of God. But if you want a guarantee of safety from beasts and wild animals, go to where the Spirit of God has led you. Someone listening to me is refusing to go somewhere because where the Lord has led them doesn't seem like a good and fertile land. Remember that Jesus was led into a wilderness. It does not need to make sense to you. God's ways are not our ways. Obey the leading of the Holy Spirit and watch the mouths of the wild beasts stay shut every time they come around you. Remember, God did not remove the wild beasts, but he sent angels to ensure that Jesus was safe. May the Spirit of God give us understanding. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Spirit of God, we pray for deep fellowship with you. We pray in the name of Jesus for the grace to obey you, whether it seems convenient or not. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.